Atlantic Lithium is an Australian registered and headquartered pure play lithium company. We are focused on advancing our flagship Awea Lithium project in Ghana to production. Our mission is to enable the transition to renewable energy through the responsible production of lithium products. The Awea Lithium project is currently being advanced through the remaining permitting milestones towards a final investment decision. The company believes that the Awea Lithium project represents a globally significant source of spodumene concentrate, a key component in the production of batteries. The Awea Lithium project is a hard rock lithium deposit discovered by the company in 2018 and on track to become Ghana's first lithium producing mine. It is located in Mankisim in the central region which is 100 km to the west of the capital Accra and 110 km to the east of the operating deep sea port of Takarari, both accessible by the N1 highway which connects the two. The jaw compliant mineral resource estimate totals 36.8 million tons at 1.24% lithia, of which 80% sits in the measured and indicated category, giving us significant confidence in the ore body. The definitive feasibility study that we completed on the project indicates the production of 3.6 million tons of spodumene concentrate over a 12 year mine life, making it amongst the largest deposits by production in the world. The deposit is a high grade and shallow in nature, suitable for conventional open cut mining. The project is less than a kilometer from the N1 National Highway and benefits from grid power that crosses the mining lease. Thanks to this exceptional infrastructure and nature of the deposit, the project presents a low capital development and operating cost profile, capable of withstanding low price environments during the commodity cycle. We do not have a complex flow sheet. It's a simple, dense medium separation only plant. The plant will have a throughput capacity of 2.7 million tons per annum and will produce a concentrate ranging from 5 to 6%, depending on prevailing market conditions. Over the past 24 months, we've made tremendous progress with our permitting efforts. This all started in June 2023 when we published the definitive feasibility study for the Awea Lithium project. We were awarded our mining license by the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources later in 23. Now, with a mining lease in hand, we were able to commence our EPA permitting process. This involves significant studies into fauna and flora, engagement with the local community to understand the socio-economic impact as well as negotiating land compensation and resettlement. During this time, we also obtained a water license for extraction as well as the rezoning of land for the purpose of mining. Shortly after obtaining our EPA permit, we were granted our mine operating permit by the Minerals Commission. The next major catalyst for us is the ratification of our mining lease by the Ghanaian Parliament, which was held up by recent elections. Now with elections complete and Parliament reconvening, as this project remains in the best interest of Ghana, we expect this to be ratified as part of the normal ongoing parliamentary business. Ratification represents the completion of our permitting phase. Our final investment decision is subject to permitting, the completion of our finance arrangement, as well as prevailing market conditions. Following FID, we have a 24 month period before we commence production, consisting on six months of detailed engineering and an 18 month construction period. The Atlantic Lithium Management Team and Board boasts significant mine build and operating experience in Ghana and globally. Our exploration team has experience in lithium discovery, providing strong potential for future discovery beyond the current defined resource. The project is set to generate 900 new direct jobs with a higher local philosophy. As a result, we have strong community relations and we have received vocal backing from the chiefs and residents from villages within our catchment area. We will also set aside 1% of revenue which will attribute to a community development fund focused on developing sustainable economic growth within the central region. The project will put Ghana on the map for lithium production, making it amongst the first West African lithium producers and a new player in the global energy transition supply chain.